Yo, where is everyone? <laughs> what up, everybody? What's up, boys? What's up, everybody? Water dogs in the house. What's good, baby? <laughs> yeah, you know that speed, boy. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys, RJ here, and welcome back to the Fast Break. You didn't ask for it, but we did it anyway. The Fast Break is now animated. We couldn't afford for the entire series to be animated, so this is the end of the road, sadly. All right, that's better. We're gonna talk about Backyard Lacrosse this episode, but not till a little bit later. Aside from Backyard Lacrosse, we're talking about the Archers this episode. And when I think about this Archers team heading into the championship series, I think about one of the most loaded offensive units in the league. You've got Tom Schreiber. Tom Schreiber checks in. Marcus Holman. Tough angle, shot goes! Will Manny. As Will Manny gives Archers back the two goal lead. And now the number one pick in the college draft, Grant Amen. But it's not just the offense that shoulders the load for this Archers club. It's their defense that they index the most on. The Archers defense is statistically the best defensive unit on paper in the league. And they proved their dedication to that side of the ball ahead of the expansion draft when they protected five of their starters on D. So if the Archers have the best defense on paper in this league, and when I think of this club, all I think about is their offensive firepower that they have and their incredible attack line. Are they the most poised to win this thing this summer? We're gonna chat about the answer to that question in this week's episode, but before we do that, we are talking Backyard Lacrosse. The Backyard Lacrosse collection is now available. We spent the last week rolling out team logos, some pretty rad team logos, player characters. Hey, Tommy Shribes here. I was in a band once. And then some animations on top of that. We about to repeat this summer, believe that. The Backyard Lacrosse collection is available right now for you to go own a piece of it. And you can get your favorite player's t-shirt. Yeah, I have one too. You can also get that. <laughs> Links down below. And for every girl lacrosse player out there who's watching this right now, this announcement is for you. PLL Academy recently announced Unleashed Overnight. It is a four day camp for girls between the ages of 12 and 18. And it's being led by three of the most dominant professionals in Alex Oss, Kylie Olmiller, and Taylor Cummings. It's going down in November in San Diego. Link is down below to secure your spot. All right, we're bringing our first archer here, Marcus Holman. And I want to ask you all at home, does Marcus Holman own the most iconic goal in PLL history thus far? 10 seconds on the shot clock. Oh, man, he scores! I mean, game one of year one against Chrome wraps this one around his defender. And that's all the space he needs. Look at that, oh my gosh. I've seen this replay probably 100 plus times and it continues to blow my mind. So I'm asking you guys before we bring Marcus on, does he own the most iconic goal in PL history? Let us know down below. But you know what? I'm not even gonna take your votes into uh, consideration. It was the most iconic goal from year one. <laughs> all right, enough of gassing up Marcus. Take it away, man. Driver the feed, the shot from Holman, perfectly placed under the bar. What's going on? It's Marcus Holman, number one on your roster, number one in your hearts. And I'm here and really excited to talk about the formation of our roster uh, during the off season and how I think we're poised for success in this championship series. Uh, let's start on the offensive end. Obviously, the big pickup was, was Grant Amet, number one draft pick, phenomenal player out of Penn State. Uh, he was a part of Archer Week, uh, which took place out here in Utah a couple weeks ago. And it was really, really cool to be out on the field with him, just get some chemistry going, catch some of his uh, unbelievable feeds, and uh, just get to know him better as a player. And he definitely fits in, I think, schematically with our team, uh, balancing you know, his feeding ability behind the goal with Tom Schreiber's unbelievable feeding above the goal. Here's Schreiber. Down the alley, whips it over, got it through, they score! It just kind of pairs really nicely with, with our offensive scheme. Um, obviously excited about Christian Mazzone as well. Uh, I haven't played with him or Josh Courier yet, but really excited about those two guys and think they'll be threats for us on the offensive end. Defensively, I think we just got stronger. We added Eli Gobrecht, uh, another draft pick for us, another guy who was a part of, of Archer Week out here 
and he's just a beast. He really, really wants to be great. Just a student of the game, I think I think he really fits in well with, with our team style of defense. Our roster just became a little bit more complete. We know there's so many talented players in this league, but it's not about one or two talented players. It's about how your team can come together and mesh well. We feel like we, we have that chemistry uh, within our locker room, you know, within our organization, starting from our coaching staff all the way down. You know, we're, we're just excited to, to put that on display uh, in a month here in Utah, and we don't feel any pressure. I think, you know, that's something that's been created for us. You know, we're, we're taking that underdog mentality into this championship series. So we're just hungry to, to play some really good lacrosse and compete at the highest level and hopefully take home a trophy at the end of this thing. Go Archers, baby. Arrows up. When Marcus mentioned Archers Week, I wasn't totally sure what he was talking about until I saw this video. Taking shots, going jacks at you. Observing the game and watching the field. And you either fight like real, never been fair. The Archers are out here grinding, man. And also, their defensive unit looks like they're ready to rip an attackman's head off come July 25th. <laughs> These guys are ready to roll for the championship series, man. Speaking of the defense, we already mentioned that statistically they were the strongest defense in the league in 2019. They allowed the fewest goals against per game than any other defense in the league. And they got even stronger with the addition of Eli Gobrecht in the entry draft. This summer, Eli is going to be tasked with covering some of the best attackmen in the world. So, how is he getting prepared and what is he going to contribute to this Archer's defense? Everyone, meet Eli. What's up guys, Eli Gobrecht here, defenseman for the Archer's Lacrosse Club. And today I'm gonna to be talking with you guys about what I think makes our defense the best unit in the league. So, a couple matchups that I'm really excited about in the championship series. Group play are matching up with Rob Pinnell and Jordan Wolf. Uh, these are two guys that are incredible attackmen, some of the best in the world. And my role within the defense is going to be to try to shut those guys down. Rob is a guy that can beat you in a variety of ways, um, super strong, very fast. And then Jordan is probably the most explosive attackman in the league, and it's very difficult to match feet with him. So, you know, I'm going to be trying to shut those guys down, but I know that it's going to take a team effort from our defense. And part of that is just building chemistry. So, one of the coolest things that we did was uh, we went out to Utah last week for what we called Archers Week. Um, we trained hard on and off the field and started to kind of build that chemistry, you know, being a new member of the team and knowing that we're having a shortened training camp. That's something that I know is really important. So even off the field, um, we went on a few hikes and had some barbecues and went wake surfing too. So we had an awesome time and I think that chemistry that we built during that week is going to translate really well when we get back to Utah for the championship series. I think another part of that team defense and team chemistry aspect is that we know that what we do on the defensive end, if we have success, is going to translate to the offensive end of the field. Ratliff loaded up a two and he skips it over for the goal. You know, we're going to kind of feed off of each other and I think that uh, this is a team where no one really cares who's getting the credit and we all just want to get that win at the end of the day and, and that's something that I'm really excited to be a part of and I think we do have the best defense in the league when you look at our goaltenders, um, an awesome tandem between Drew Adams and Adam Gittleman. Uh, they both bring different things to the table. You know, we have an awesome group of defensive midfielders starting with Dominique Alexander. So we have a lot of trust in those guys. You know, on the back end with, uh, with Matt McMahon, he's been one of the better defenders in the world for a while. He's great on ball, off ball, awesome communicator. Mark! Mark, just match him, Mark! Rat, 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 you! Corley, help us too. Hey, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. And then Scott Ratliff leading us in the midfield. You know, we look at that unit and uh, the way that we all complement each other and I think that we are the best defensive group in the league and people are going to see that when we get to Utah. The Archers were 5-5 five and five on the regular season and they lost 4-1 goal games and they were all back Gentleman comes out in coverage and left to back to back to back and it's Salcido and other ideas it goes right to Henningberg for the win and the ones are wrong Sorry guys to emphasize that so much. They were able to make a second half push in the later half of the season and narrowly lost to the Redwoods 
in the playoffs. And they didn't have Tom Schreiber for the second half of that game. Honestly, I don't know how you can't win a championship with Grant and Tom wheeling and dealing to Marcus and Will. Then you have a two-headed monster in Gittleman and Adams in the cage and the best defense in the league adds one of the best cover defenders in the world in Eli. Woo! This championship series, it's gonna be crazy. So we have a backyard lacrosse related question for this week's final whistle giveaway. So what we're gonna do is put a poll up in the corner. We wanna know, do you think the Archers are going to win the 2020 PLL Championship Series? Let us know. All right, this week's final whistle is simple. Oh, I, I didn't even whistle. Which backyard lacrosse character this week was your favorite? Was it Miles Jones? Was it Connor Farrell? Was it Marcus and Will, who also have their own backyard lacrosse characters? Lisa and I will get down there in the comments, and the winner is going to get their choice of player card tee, retro tee, or the bench or squad tee. So yeah, if you win, you got a lot of options. You get to pick the t-shirt of your choice from the backyard collection. Comment down below and RJ and I will pick a winner. And are you subscribed to this channel yet? Because if you're not, we don't know what you're waiting for. The championship series is a month away. And if you're watching this a day late, we're less than a month away. We're gonna be bringing you some insane content. So you're gonna wanna be tuned in with this channel. Smash that subscribe button right now. That's it for us this week, guys. Make sure to comment down below for your chance to win a backyard lacrosse tee. Yeah, whatever one you want. And if you haven't gotten something from the collection for yourself, Get it before it's gone this weekend. Arrows up, baby. We will see you next week.